Hi, and welcome to our Aim for Good video series. Uh, we designed Aim for Good with the hope that we could connect individuals in this community and provide different resources to shine light on local nonprofits, people that might be in need, um, any different resources that we could provide out there for you. This uh, video series is intended to provide relevant information um, from industry leaders and also connect and highlight uh, our colleagues, our friends, our clients to nonprofits in need. Please stay tuned at the end of the video as you'll see different links that we discussed during the conversation so that you'll be able to contact them directly and help anyone in need. And also, you know, make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll be updating these videos on a regular basis. Thanks again for joining us. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us again for another one of our video series highlights. We are with Crystal and Suzanne today of Pretty Paints and with, uh, Autism and the Arts Initiative is part of that as well and a lot of other great things that they're doing right now. So we're excited to have them here today and uh, just want to introduce you to them initially and then we'll get into different things they've got coming up that we're excited about to share with you. So I'll let either one of you take it away. Give us a your little infomercial on what you've got going on and everything else. Okay, sure. Suzanne, would you like to go? Sure. So we're Pretty Paints and we're a local mobile art studio. And through our business, we support an organization called Autism and the Arts Initiative, which falls under the R. Nicholas umbrella. And we provide um, parties, basically, that are art related and art themed. Uh, anything from private parties all the way to big public events and all of um, our work has an element where we give back. Uh, most of our events are 50% to 100% going back to autism in the arts, and that provides art classes for children who are on the spectrum, the autism spectrum. So um, important arts um, programming for them to have a voice. And um, yeah, we're pretty proud of our work. It's really fun. It's a great way to have community and be involved and uh, and it's um, also giving back. So it's creating for a cause, which is really nice. I think it's been really amazing to see the progression in your business, you know, and just the amount of new avenues that you've found to not only give people an opportunity to explore their paint side, which for me personally was an adventure last time we got <laughs> together, but um, just to give back, you know, personally, we've seen the benefit in the autism community um tenfold of what you've done by providing camps during the summer and through, throughout the year now so like you know give you a big kudos for that and everything that you've done there and i know you've uh, helped some other organizations in town as well uh through this i believe rose again have you been providing them some resources yeah go ahead crystal <laughs> yeah you can take that one too sure, <laughs> sure no problem uh, so yeah, we've been we've been fortunate enough to work with Rose Again Foundation and make sure that the kids who are at home right now doing their learning um, have an outlet, uh, and and that's an artist artistic artistic outlet, uh, and that's through Rose Again Foundation. So about once a month, we're offering a class for them to take. They can come pick up their kids and take it as a family, um, or just the kiddos themselves. We've done some succulents and we've done some paintings now, and we're going to continue to do that through the summer. Um, and hopefully beyond, you know, um, to, to give them that outlet uh, creatively. It's pretty important, I think, a, a, just again, a voice, you know, if you're struggling and your routine has been interrupted, um, these are kids who, you know, with autism have, have some special needs in order to communicate. And then same with our kids who have been in the foster system, you know, um, those outlets are, that are usually there in terms of extracurricular activity are not right now. And that change in routine can be really troubling and upsetting. And so having a go-to that you can do at home where everyone can kind of get into their own thing um, can be pretty critical in terms of keeping the behaviors positive. And um, just, you know, we all need an outlet right now and a little space from one another from time to time or working collectively as a group on something um, either way, you know, and, and these projects can be approached either one of those directions. So it's really helpful. Yeah. I think it's great you're given different opportunities to not just paint, but succulents and chunky blankets, right? Yeah, good <laughs> job. Uh -huh. um, so there's a lot of different 
cool ways to have these different, you know, scenarios. I know Kathy, my wife, was really excited to be part of the virtual one that you held out at Akash a few weeks ago. She's got her painting downstairs hanging very proudly. Um, and she's excited to put together, I think you offer virtual birthday parties, different things like that. Her birthday's coming up soon, so we're gonna wanna put something like that together. But Crystal, I'm gonna force you to talk now and you can tell me, uh, you know, what, how are you getting this to the community at this point with this Corona, you know, the COVID-19 impact? I mean, how are you getting in touch with people? So we, we used to just go to wineries, breweries, restaurants, and homes and, and do classes live in person. And now um, everything's through Instagram that we are getting our message out, Facebook and sending out emails. But we have our website, prettypinksparty.com go there and you say, oh, I can get succulent kits to go, or I can get paint kits to go, or a chunky blanket workshop happening um, next week, and even a paint your own pet. Um, we have Audrey Hepburn and Frida, and we're partnering with other small businesses to bring recognition to them as well, the businesses that have kind of, you know, teamed up with us, and we've, we've been doing this together to just, I feel like, power numbers, but we have given the option where you can do a to-go kit at your leisure. You just go and say, I want to pick up three kits from Peltzer Winery. Go to the website, get three, go to Peltzer. It's quick and easy. They give you your kits and you can have wine and go home and have, you know, make a night of it. Or uh, we have the option where every Saturday at a Kosh Winery from 10 to 2, we've been doing different themed drive throughs which is really fun because we bring out uh, it sounds like a lot, but hundreds of people, but just in your cars and you just drive through and you say, I want a blanket from Chasing Blue. I want donuts from Creative Bites Donuts. I want wine from Akash. Oh, look at the chalk art from Gail Duravage. And then you can get kids and go home. And we have characters and um, this really week. Fun. Yeah, this week is Disney week. So we're having Olaf and Anna and Elsa there on Saturday and Disney inspired week. So it's just fun it's just a way to you know keep it going and our community has given us so much support that we've been able to give back a tremendous amount during this time too giving free kits to um, families in need and this Saturday specifically we're giving um, kits to all of our previous autism the arts initiative students so they all are getting an email about that but they can come on down and get free kits so it's all about you know creating for a cause that's our our full deal. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I commend you again on all the work that you guys have done. I know it's been a journey, especially trying to adapt to what's been happening, you know, in the last two months, every business has had to learn a different avenue to, you know, find success or just to survive. Um, and it's been really cool to watch you guys and how you've gone through this together. I also, you know, just to kind of reference what you mentioned, Akash and Peltzer have been huge supporters of this, you know, and I just wanted to give them a shout out here. And, you know, it's just, you know, they're, it's nice to see the community continue to give back. And I think that's what's really neat about this area as well. We've seen that continue to flourish, even in these hard times, because it's not only the small businesses that are struggling, the nonprofits are struggling, um, families are struggling. It's just a nonstop. So with out, you know people like you to provide some light at the end of the tunnel or some other avenues through these virtual you know paint scenarios it's uh, it's, it's cool to see so I appreciate it so good escape you mentioned inspiring uh, situation coming up you know with graduation coming up and different ideas that you guys keep coming up with which is very cool um, you know I have two graduates I just got done talking to you about a little bit earlier before we got on this and um, they're trying to find ways to celebrate their graduation in a way that we never had to figure out. Um, what do you have in the queue for them? New graduation. So we're doing next week, like we, like we have every week we have a different theme and next week is going to be our inspiration week. Um, it's going to be graduation gifts, uh, graduation virtual class that we're giving to all 2020 graduates. It's free on our Instagram. It's going to be next week, I believe on the 23rd is when we're going to do the free class. Or if you'd rather send a kit to a graduate somewhere in a different state, we ship them nationwide now. Um, they'll get a kit with a canvas and paints and brushes and a cute little uh, 2020 something commemorative that they can make 
personally, mm -hmm. um, but we will have our drive through again. So as our graduates pass through, we're gonna give them a, a special little gift. Um, try to make it as if they're walking, um, but they'll be driving through, and then <laughs> we're going to give them a tassel um, probably as they leave. So we're trying to think outside the box. We hit the ground running with this, so we're coming up with new ideas every week. Um, Suzanne and our team have all just been working together, trying to come up with new inventive things. But yeah, our drive through will be a success for everybody next week, something to look forward to. An inspiration for sure. I think I think a neat thing about it too, um, and we were kind of talking, hitting on this about your wife doing the virtual classes, um, it's a really fun way to celebrate. So instead of just doing a drive through parade where people come through your neighborhood, which is really fun, um, a fun way to take it up a notch and make it more memorable is to take that, that custom 2020 art piece that we're making to celebrate the graduate and, and get eight or 10 people together for, that are in your family. Um, whether you're in one location or whether you're spread across the, the country, it doesn't matter. Um, we can get those kits to you and what, we, what we'll have you do is open a window that gives you the instruction where you can take the class and get one step at a time, one step-by-step -step instruction. And then you can have another window open just like we're doing right now where we're Zooming and we're doing group video and you basically have a celebration and party together. It's a really yeah. good time. You can pause it and keep it going um, as you need to. You can go back and rewatch the video at a later point. And that's done through Pretty Paint's um, Patreon account. And that's uh, patreon.com, P-A-T, <laughs> R-E-O-N.com forward slash Pretty Paints Party and you'll find us there and you can do a do a basically a private party that way it's eight yeah. or more people and it's a really great and fun way to celebrate and um and uh, yeah it's right there it happens right there in the studio we'll teach you right from where crystal's sitting right there and um it is a lot of fun we've had everything from sweet 16s to graduations and anniversaries um it's all available um so that's really fun crystal can you tell them a little bit more about the, the options on patreon Oh, sure. So if you want to support us right now, um, like Suzanne said, we do have, it's patreon.com slash party, and you have two options. You have the Wine Wednesdays. So every Wednesday I go to a different winery or support a different winery. Oh gosh, <laughs> Petite Syrah, it's my favorite. Um, you can go with me to those wineries and I paint from there and you get the kids or if you are in a different state and you want to paint, you can just sign up. It's $15 a month. You get all the classes I've done so far. I've done a lot. And then every Friday is all ages. So um, today we painted Tinkerbell. Let me move my screen a little. We painted Tinkerbell up there. We painted the sunflowers. We painted the tiger for Tiger King. Uh, we did. <laughs> Bye, Carol, guys. Carol Baskey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Everybody loves it, right? Um, but we, we do those every week and then we have bonus classes. So I'm also teaching hand lettering and how to blend and how to detail and all the behind the scenes when I'm saying, okay, now we're going to blend this. And you go, why? I don't know how to do that. I have a video for that. So go back and watch the blending video. Um, right. so it's just a way to find your creative outlet during quarantine and bring some positivity. It's great. And like she said, um, eight or more people, you get your own private class. So eight of you purchase a virtual class. You just message us and we walk you through the whole stuff. And we say, I really want all of us to paint a horse. So, okay, here's the horse canvas. We're gonna do a class on Friday at six, get you all of your kits sent out and you get a free virtual class for eight people or more. So it's, it's fun. And then we donate 50% of it back to Autism and the Arts Initiative, which is, near and dear uh, for personal reasons. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's great. You know, I mean, the whole virtual approach to it is awesome. And um, I, you know, speaking from my own personal experience, we did a client appreciation event last fall, seems like a hundred years ago at this point, but it was an amazing <laughs> evening um, where we had about 70 of our, you know, clients out there and Crystal and Suzanne just did an awesome job with them. So we're looking forward to that day where we can be in front of each other again and engage one another from a human aspect. But, um, you know, the feedback from our clients and friends and family was amazing. And we look forward to hopefully scheduling that again here soon. Um, all this information is on your website. You want to repeat what your website is again? Yes. So you can either go, if you want to look at all of our paintings, 
to instagram.com slash pretty paints party or if you have the app it's just pretty paints party or our website is pretty paints party.com or on facebook pretty paints party um, <laughs> <laughs> you can also give us a call uh, at 951-409-6605 or 459-788 Susanna remembered um, <laughs> I always get those numbers mixed up but yes we'll, we'll give you all of the information we'd love to create with you any of you all of you um, see you on Saturdays at our drive through paint with you on Wednesdays or Fridays on Patreon or just send you a kit if you got your style. But, yeah. Sounds perfect. Well, um, just as an added bonus to finish up, unless do you have anything else you want to share before I babble further here? Are we good? Uh, no, I think we're good. All right. Um, what we want to do is uh, we do want to pose a challenge out there. Um, Aim for Good um, is our new philanthropy arm. We're in the process of getting our nonprofit status. We're excited about that. It's just basically here to help different people, different organizations, companies, businesses, nonprofits, whatever we can do out there. Obviously, you know that autism is close to our heart uh, with my Nicholas and our Nicholas Foundation. Um, what we'd like to do right now is on our Nicholas Foundation's website, it's ournick.org. You can go there and you can go to the donate button. If you want to support any of the autistic kiddos and their families, if you want to support any of the Rose Again Foundation families, um, if you'll put, you know, on your donation there, you can click donate. And if you put in the memo, either charity or if you have cancer, friends or whatever the cause might be um, we will match that for main for good up to fifteen hundred dollars uh, dollar for dollar back to crystal and suzanne for them to be able to provide those free kits um, for the next whatever amount of time so please join us with that we'll look forward to helping these lovely ladies and their awesome organization out and uh, we thank you for joining us again and all the website information will be at the end of this video for you to click through on as well thanks a lot and have a great day Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys.